Okay, uh, this is going to be a different kind of video. I got a message from one of the viewers who asked what I thought about some certain remakes. And it is uh, actually a pretty impressive list, I must say. Um, so this is my answer to that. And I'll give my honest opinion of each film. It depends on how long I talk about some of the films. This may or may not be a two-part video. Uh, but let's just get right into it. First up, John Carpenter's The Thing, which was a remake of the classic film The Thing from Another World. Um, now on this film, I have to say I'm a little biased because I am a huge fan of John Carpenter. Now for anyone who has seen both of these films, they are completely different types of films, and that's why people say that this is a good movie but kind of a shitty remake. But actually, this version is more like the original story that it's based on. And the original film actually took liberties and changed it for the time frame. Um, so that being said, I think both films are great. And I find this film to be a very good remake, but not so much of the movie as much as the original short story. Next up on the list is The Fly. This is another case of a great classic film being redone to fit with the time. Now to start with the original film with Vincent Price is an acquired taste anyway, and this film is really no different. I do like the film, I just wish it didn't start Jeff Goldblum because I'm not a real big fan of his. But that aside, I do find this to be a really good film and a really decent remake. The Fly 2 was terrible in my opinion. And if you want to see good sequels to The Fly, watch the original sequels, Return of the Fly, and Curse of the Fly. Now let's talk about Halloween. Like I said earlier, I am a huge fan of John Carpenter, and Halloween happens to be my favorite film and favorite horror franchise. Um, so I was actually very hesitant when I heard it was being remade, but I felt a little better about it when I heard that Rob Zombie was making the film. That said, the movie itself is a good Halloween film and a pretty decent remake. Um, it has its own original elements that add to the franchise while being very faithful to the source material. Um, now, some might say the film was a little more violent than what you'd expect to see from a Halloween film, and it is. But you have to keep in mind this is Rob Zombie, and if you've seen any of those other films... You understand that. That being said, I do highly recommend this film, but I ha cannot recommend Rob Zombie's sequel to it, Halloween 2, H2, whatever you want to fucking call it. It is an awful film, and he officially, in my mind, mangled the Halloween franchise, but let's move on. Next on the list is the remake of The Blob. Some might say that the original film wasn't a film worthy of a remake, but I do find it to be classic and just the old school graphics in it just really stick out in my mind. But in all fairness, the Blob remake is not really a good film, but it is kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. And any film that with Shawnee Smith in it, I'll, I'm going to watch. Um, the worst part of this remake, in my opinion, again, has to be one of the actors, Kevin Dillon, um, but I won't really get into that. And for those of you who don't already know, The Blob is actually sl slated for yet another remake to be released in 2010 or 11. And Rob Zombie is said to be writing and directing it. So with what happened throughout the Halloween series, it's up in the air whether the new remake is going to be decent at all. Alright, now we're talking about another remake of an ultimate classic zombie film, um, Night of Living Dead. Some say that the remake is far superior to the original because they say that the original is too slow and boring. Slow at times, yes, but it was a cheap, low-budget film from the 60s, so what the hell do you really expect? The reason I think the 90s remake lives up to the original is the fact that it was directed by Tom Savini, who did the special effects for the original Dawn of the Dead and Day of the Dead. And George Romero actually wrote the screenplay to the remake, so having the film's original creator on board also gives it that little extra credibility. But this film doesn't really need it, because it's a great horror film 
by itself and a great remake as far as I'm concerned. Now the 3D version Night of Living Dead that came out in 2006 is a huge pile of steamy shit, so avoid that one. Continuing with the Night of Living Dead theme, now we're on to the Dawn of the Dead remake. This is an example of how not to make a remake of a Romero Dead film. I know this film has a lot of fans, but unfortunately I ain't one of them. For starters, I don't think the film is good as a remake, or a movie itself in general. Uh, mainly because I didn't like the, s the main story behind this one, and I'm not one of those zombie fans who have been swayed over to the fast-moving zombies. In my opinion, zombies move slow, and they sure as fuck aren't track stars like what you see in this movie. And no one will ever convince me otherwise of that, so don't try. But for this f film's credit, it is better than the Day of the Dead remake, which is even worse than this film is. And funny thing, they both actually star being Rams, just two separate characters. So if you really want to see a bad movie, check out the Day of the Dead remake. But if you don't want to put yourself through that, stay as far away from it as you possibly can. <laughs> 